years old, maybe 26, 27 years old. My times now. If they, I told, I told people like, yo, either I, I wanted like one or two fights at first um, before plant David Benavides for I asked like for a little like 68 of, and then plant and then if David's around, but child, whoever, these guys, but it didn't happen that way. Um, I had one fight at 168, and now David Benavides, they know that I'm looking to fight the best. David Benavides has nowhere to go. I had nowhere to go, and it's only right. If two fighters want to fight, we're going to fight, and that's what we're showing. Like, I asked for the fight, he asked for the fight, and so now we're here today. So there's no excuses. Jose, 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 Jose said that you're just a little guy who will be outside. Say it again? You think you have to make, I'm sorry, you think you have to make a statement in this fight? The statement is winning. The statement is going out here. The statement is now. The statement is showing like, yo, the will, the ableness, and the courage to get in there with the very best um, out of different weight classes. That's what, that's, what, that's what the statement is. And then last one, just real quick. Uh, you enjoyed yourself greatly up there in the press conference. Like, is, when is that switch going to like turn where you get real serious? In? That was serious. Like that's that's. So you enjoy yourself in the ring too, then? Listen, I'm having fun. This is a fun moment for me. I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to be able to have fun. You know, I I am where I wanted to be. So I'm not going to be serious and not enjoy myself. I got to enjoy myself. I got to laugh. I got to have fun. We got to make sure whatever. Um, but the serious part will turn on once the ring walk and I'm in the ring, of course. But in there, I got to have fun. I got to stay elusive because I got to fight a guy that's going to come forward, do what he do. So my whole energy needs to be elusive. Yeah. All right. Couple Couple Jose, Jose, Jose said you say that you're just a little guy who would be outside. What's your thought? Again, you know, I'm not uh, going to the tap with his dad. My dad's not here. His dad, Jose's a little guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a little guy talking about, but it's all good though. Um, listen, the. Every, everybody can fall, everybody, no matter what the height is. The biggest fall, the smallest fall, man. So that doesn't mean anything here. I have the ability to get to him. He has the ability to get to me. But the may the best man win. At the end of the day, I could put him down too. And everybody I ever stepped in the ring with always went down. So it's, it's all good. The, w, the WBC say the winner of this fight will be Canelo's mandatory, whereas Canelo has to agree to, this, to fight the winner by March or he will be stripped. What's your thoughts? Again, fuck Canelo. But no, but listen, Canelo's a great fighter. I'm not looking forward to sit there and like depend on Canelo because that's just not how it goes. He has the luxury to do whatever he wants to do. Right now, this is it. This is the biggest fight. From this point on, the people, their self, and the reporters and journalists and all the other people has to get Canelo to want to take the winner or the loser of this fight because at the end of the day, it's two, two top elite guys that can rumble with anybody. Who would you beat your third F bomb about Canelo? The third one today. Uh, where's that? Canelo, come Canelo, from? Does Canelo. That, does that come from nah, the he comment? Nah, yeah, he talk, he, yeah, he talking shit. Payday is, I'm a horrible fighter. And then, you know, people people like um, send me things about like him. Somebody asked him a question about, oh, what about David Benavides and Demetri Andre? Then he goes 50 50 fight. So how am I a horrible fighter and then fighting David Benavides is a 50 50 fight? But needless to say, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, Canelo's a great fighter. He, um, you know, is making his mark. He dicks can't take how he wants to do it. He's doing a good job at it. At the end of the day, I, I respect that. But um, him disrespecting me in the way he did, it was just like, fuck you, bitch. So that's, how, that's how that comes off. That's it. You're one you were of the best critical. talkers in boxing. You've always been, you're very witty. And I told David before, how is he going to respond when you talk shit to him? You were very entertaining up there. But I didn't see the full fire. I thought you were going to come and... I mean, at the end of the day, I have never been like that. So, um, as things develop, I'm going to see him more and more. And, you know, we get the shit talking. He's not talking shit, so I don't I don't understand. So, you don't bring it up? No, nah, I'm saying, like, this. what, what, what shit are we talking about? What are we going to do? Like, fuck you. Fuck you. Hospital. Ambulance. Knock you out. <laughs> yeah, Tracy, you, how, read that off. Read how, that. How was yeah, I mean, Tracy trying right to now? say like he saw uh, you were scared and the face off uh, in Benavidez symbol? That I'm, I was scared. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Oh, uh, okay. What do you think about that? I mean, 
Yeah, get me scared because I'm gonna be more dangerous. Get me scared. Yes, I want to be scared. Get me scared because the scared I am, the more dangerous I'm gonna be. The more I'm gonna want to protect myself. The more I'm gonna want to throw punches. The more I'm gonna want to get in there and show you what I have in store. So yeah, do that. Uh, what much of an advantage do you have, you know, at long range, at distance in this fight on the outside? Um, and, and how do you think you hold up when he does get to the inside? That's why November 25th. You have to tune in. You guys are going to be there. People need to buy them pay-per-views. People need to show support of this beautiful fight that's about to go down. And you're going to see the mastermind at his best. That's it. How does the mastermind withstand the pressure of David Benavidez? We watched David Benavidez break a lot of guys down, bludgeoning and Caleb Plant into a decision victory. Uh, how do you avoid having those things happen to you on yeah, the Yeah, listen, Caleb Plant is not me, nor I am Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant ain't got the footwork or the IQ and the power that I have. You know, Caleb Plant, I respect him. He's, a, he's a, also a great fighter. He took the, the, the opportunity and the chance to fight David Benavides, but I, I also show Plant a lot of things um, during our time when he used to come to my camps and stuff like that. So I'm, I I got the sauce, trust me. What, what do you say, what you say is Benavides' is best friend? What makes a monster? I think, um, I think Mike Tyson got really, really, really high that day. Really, really high. He must have been smoking some shit. And he was just like, shit, what's his name? The monster. <laughs> and so that's how I think he forgot his name. What would you, what would you say Benavidez? Really, best, really hard. Yeah, what would you say Benavidez's best friend? Um, his best friend, best attribute is? Um, I think it's, yeah, putting, putting pressure and then, you know, figuring out how to put these combinations together when he gets really close. Um, but as you see when he fought, fought Caleb Plant, Caleb Plant was able to maneuver, do his thing. Plant's not the hottest hitter. Uh, he wasn't in the best condition, I don't think, for that fight. But he showed what, what little exposure it would have take to continue to beat um, Plant, or, I mean, David Benavides and keep him at bay. I mean, this is Last question, on that last question Tim, Bradley, Tim Bradley mentioned that there was holes in David Benavides' game for you. There's a lot of holes. A lot of holes. Uh, when you see those holes, uh, having watched him at home, is that what made you really want to jump back part him? I want to fight everybody. I want to fight everybody. Whatever opportunities I can get, I, 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 I'll take them. If I could get any of those guys back then, I would have got them back then. But at the end of the day, David is willing to take the fight. I'm willing to take the fight. So the answer is always yes on my side. I have never said no to any of them. It's just now's the time. I'm free agent as far as not signed to nobody. And I got myself in this position to be able to come over anywhere and make the best fights happen. That's it. So. Where will it win against Vita Vita's place all the time? Number one.